good good morning dear students today in our topic we will discuss about introduction in uh, and the data types in python as we know uh, python is gaining popularity year year by year especially the uh, popularity of the data science it's gaining um, it's becoming the world's uh, the most famous and the most highly used programming language and uh, if you look nowadays according to statistics of 2019 it's like it's nowadays become the the first most highly used programming language the job trends of the python also rapidly increasing year by year uh, and uh, you know in japan python is highly used on web development and especially in data science especially the most preferable language for the juniors yeah and the most of the jobs how i can say trend is very highly positive on python's side why is python python is interpreted um, interactive um, and object oriented and the beginners language for example it's kind of uh, it's very easy to understand it will uh, it can it's it's it accepts as a as a, accept it as a uh, high level programming language and that's why it can directly access to our uh, memory and uh, it's kind of very uh, self efficient uh, it's interactive we can uh, uh, how you can see it has own built-in interpreter and uh, it can and directly uh, how we we can interactively work with python and uh, on the other hand uh, we can make kind of visuals and we can see our outcomes simultaneously with the visual graphs too object oriented uh, python supports object oriented technique for programming uh, it's kind of uh, we can create the classes we can create the methods we can f uh, create objects and uh, accordingly we can create entire uh, whole system beginners language uh, it's the I according to my experience it's the most easiest the the easiest language among all programming languages it's very easy um, no need to no need for declaring it's much easier than c++ and the java which is also highly used in the market yeah uh, python features it's as we have said easy to learn and maintain and portable we can work in uh, several software several platforms at the same time extendable mm, yeah how i can see uh, we can add new libraries accordingly and we can it, it can easily get integrated um, um, and it is scalable python provides good structure for support for large programmers mm, yeah and at the same time with small programs and uh, mm, how i can say because that it's not all it's only it uh, for example that back end of the uh, well-known Google is based on Python. Yeah, it has interactive mode, yeah, whatever I have discussed. Python has the um, broad range of libraries, uh, which uh, there is some thousands of libraries which are free uh, in open source. For example, we can it can be used in um, data science in uh, game theory in predict predictive modeling and so on everything in python has object yeah we have discussed this before uh, yeah uh, python can easily get integrated with commercial data uh, databases um, and uh, it's python accept as a high level programming language um, and it has the dynamic data types for example um, for example if we type a is 100 uh, next time if we integrate a is 200 python will accept it as a a is equal to 200 uh, it's like that it's the reason behind the dynamic um, python supports graphical user interface applications python supports after automatic garbage collection means how we can say we can 
back and the back of the stuffs and uh, it has own in like environment inside our operating system yeah python can be easily integrated with c c plus plus and java because the reason behind that python was developed uh, after those languages yeah and for example this guy developed the uh, python in 1990s it has been developed and uh, it's a little bit a bit later than uh, c++ and java that's why and also it has been uh, easily updating year by year nowadays whatever python you are using it's 3.8 come it's 2019 it come and uh, it's so amazing <coughs> let let me introduce with the basic uh, uh, syntaxes indentation uh, guys actually uh, the tab tabulation is very much important when we press one tab there is four space will come and uh, for example if you look here there is only three step has been given and it will not do anything it will show you as error because tabulation is very very much important and very much kind of uh, it has more value because um, if we make this kind of statistic uh, syntax error our perf code will not run at all and uh, um, unlike other language we are it's optional we are not always at the end of the um, code we are not asked to put semicolon but uh, this kind of uh, columns are compulsory uh, for example when you are running any kind of some procedure or some loops or something like that and for conditional statements um, it's compulsory on the upcoming um, weeks and we will discuss the uh, details about this yeah for example yeah python is dynamic language okay let me show this example uh, guys as you know it's that uh, uh, it's the jupyter notebook uh, through anaconda it will work for example on anaconda after installation you just press on uh, Jupyter notebook and uh, it will directly come and launch it will launch on the Google uh, Chrome yeah okay let's discuss for example whatever I have said a is equal to 10 uh, print a uh, shift enter guys you should press shift plus enter shift enter a is equal to 10 for example now I am saying a is equal to 20 and I would like to see that's a become but by default it become 20 i don't need to do anything because it's the python because it's python is the dynamic language yeah uh, for example the, even nowadays a for example type data type of a for me it's integer yeah? for example now i'm saying a is equal to uh, tam Adam let me check type a a and the type b become guys what string yeah it's you know it's so dynamic that even data types will, will be changed very quickly yeah at the same time you can assign a lot of values for example b is equal to c is equal to d is one for example and uh, guys when i'm running one variable i can just type call it but uh, if i want to run a lot of variable at the same time i have to uh, call them again and again yeah? print a um, print b and uh, print c 
go. So on. Ah, sorry, print A, print B, print C. Uh, I didn't call print D. Print, no, for example, I, I can just call if it's one, no, that. yeah, one. Yeah, you got it? It's like that. It will work like that. Yeah, we can, like, with multiple data types, it's so clear. Yeah. Python data types, it's the most important topic. Uh, strings are immutable objects that cannot be changed for example strings what strings strings everything for example uh, everything for example all the words uh, and the which is state inside took uh, semi uh, how i can say quotes all of them are string yeah for example uh, for example E is if I want to say for example 20 it will be string in spite of that it is 20 number but uh, I have uh, asked it to uh, I have called in this manner that's why it will become string okay Yeah, Python accepts single, double, mm, or triple quotes. Yeah. Uh, for example, let's create that A is equal to I love Python. I love Python. Let's run A. A will be L. I love Python, yeah? Uh, I would like to run, uh, for example, guys, it can be indexed. It can be indexed on uh, indexing, how I can say, index, indexation in Python starts from zero. A, zero, what it says? It will give me I first letter and the guys uh, we can run from some ranges for example I can I reach to ace okay uh, it's called the uh, uh, operators for example ace first uh, zero letter for example zero letter I don't need to write I can click the uh, comma column uh, and uh, I can just press the for example whatever last number I, I want to go till 4 what I will reach I will reach I O L I space L O for example this space there is also spaces there for example this space uh, for example I is uh, zero this is space one l2 three is o for example four will not be included for whatever shown on the index last element will be excluded yeah it will be excluded okay and uh, mm, for example we can run till a first element till fifth whatever uh, it will come space all o v for example 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 3 5 5 fifth element is the sec 6 by order 1 2 3 4 5 6 e it's the fifth index and the e will not be included and the last will be V. Lee L O V. Yeah. Uh, it's like that. Uh, concatenation, for example, we can mix two of them. For example, I love Python 
for example b will be let's create like that b will be uh, i love python and the machine oh suppose ml eh? machine learning i would like to press a plus b i love python and the machine learning okay guys here is uh, problem appeared yeah they are mixed what how, in order to avoid this what we can do we can create a space here and we can shift enter yeah i love python and the machine learning yeah it means it's called the what we call it we call them as a we call them as a what guys you can press the hash and after that it will be accepted as a comma uh, comment concatenation yeah concatenation it's so amazing we can you have added it's still concatenation we have done and we can repeat for example um, for example you love python so much i love python okay let's write a multiply by three shift enter i love python i love python i love python yeah for example if you want to phrase 10 times then come on you even we can take 10 times even no issues i love python i love python whatever repetition you want to make you will you are making range slice slice uh, slice for example yeah of course we can reach to minus elements for example a minus one what it will show it will show elements from the last one i love python n will be the last element i love python for example last three or third element you want to run and you don't want to know the um, length and then Minus two. Yeah. Python N O minus two. Yeah. Slice range slice membership. For example, membership is very important element. For example, I would like to find N. For example, I love Python. In I love Python, we have a word called N exists, yeah? N is A. I'm checking. 